I'm Courtney Bierman. I'm Shelby Nichols. Helen Winston. And I'm Sarah Jensen. We're from Millard South High School. And this poem is called Two Queer Girls and an Ally. <coughs> from the producers of Two and a Half Men and fulfilling the diversity quota of the Fox Network, it's Two Queer Girls and an Ally. Following the adventures of a butch lesbian in all of her short hair, breastbound glory. My pastimes include hanging out at Home Depot and plaid. Your average miniskirt clad, red lips slutty bisexual who swings both ways. And their ally friend. I who love gay people. All, all rubbing elbows under one roof. We fight over girls. We, we fight over boys. All while operating within the boundaries of our labels. Make sure to set your DVR so you don't miss the bisexual's latest partner. Hey, how did you get her number? She stopped by my room after she left yours. Oh, well, I have plenty of other options. Ooh, watch as the adorable ally uses their culinary skills for the common good. I spend the whole day baking rainbow cupcakes, rainbow cookies, rainbow cobbler, rainbow crepes, and rainbow baklava, all for you. Take a sneak peek into a day in the life of America's favorite lesbian. Would you hens stop clucking and toss me the keys to my truck? I'm late for softball practice. And make sure to not miss the season finale, Night on the Town. Has anyone seen my leather wristbands? Did you touch my red lipstick? Am I wearing enough human rights campaign wristbands? Our living arrangement is so outrageous! Everyone will be talking about this commercially viable sitcom, crime is stereotypes and characters the only way you can accept them. I'm not a character. Being bisexual does not mean that I am promiscuous as if I should be condemned for being either. I am not a character. Baked goods and enthusiasm are not the sole components of activism. I am not a character. Team sports and truck purchases are not lesbian prerequisites. For the last six months, I was in a committed relationship with the woman I loved. I have been working to further my education since my best friend came out to me when I was in sixth grade, and I thought it was a phase. I'm sorry, Katie. When my girlfriend and I go out to dinner, she always pays, and I could listen to her talk for hours. Creating sitcom characters that reduce human beings to cardboard cutouts enables society to openly mock differences and promote stereotypes. It breeds, it breeds ignorance and a freak show audience mentality. And it teaches that it is a punchline to be. An ignorant ally. A promiscuous bisexual. A masculine presenting lesbian. Boardroom pitches. Aimed at attracting a new audience. As if who we love is a trend to be capitalized upon. I do not read from a script. I do not pause for a laugh track. I am not in a costume. We, we are, are not actors. actors. I understand my privilege and that to be an ally is more than t-shirts and wristbands. I'm not curious. I'm not confused. I love who I love regardless of gender. I dress the way I dress and cut my hair to feel comfortable, not to fit into a societal role. This, this is who we are. are. So tune in, America. We, we are, are not characters. characters.